Yeah, I, w- I was curious about uh, Love and Hip Hop. You was on Love and Hip Hop for a long time. Yeah. Right? You don't like that? You don't f- Love and Hip Hop? No, I do. I mean, I'm thankful. I mean, it was, I, listen, I'm grateful for him. I mean, if you don't f- with them, cool. I don't f- with no, them. I don't not with them. It's just, I'm just saying, hey, I'm, I'm on whatever you want. We here. <laughs> we, can, we can team up. <laughs> no, so. I, I, I don't not f- with them. I'm, I like, that was my, you know, past. We're on to newer things now, but you, that was part of my, my, my life. When you think of Love and Hip Hop, what do you think now? Well, I just feel like Love and Hip Hop just made a complete fool out of me in a lot of ways and I'm just that's why when I made that face you know I feel like they didn't really like they clowned me in so many different ways they never really got to show you know just even with my story just different things my daughter like they played they played me for four years Mm. and it wasn't cool so I just that's all I gotta say I don't really with it I ask you that because that seems like it's an ongoing thing with so many women that come on Love & Hip Hop, but it's posed as an opportunity to be successful. It's posed as an opportunity to get your music heard. It's posed as an opportunity for them to know you. And it's like, that's never been the case. And, and we have so many examples of that not be. Yeah, we got Cardi B. Yeah. And maybe, I don't know, one like other person. Everybody thinks that they can be, like, it's just not that. Like, I don't know. All I know is with the TV world and with that franchise, you just got to be very careful. Mm. And you got to know what you signing up for. And what I learned is, like, the first year I let them basically, you know, I was their puppet. And then last, my last season with them, I wasn't playing with them. I was like, look. So, I obviously, they don't like me. Mm. So, I, I caused too much problems for them, like, because I wasn't trying to, like, I would deny, like, wanting to film certain things. But, you know, and then sometimes I felt like I had to film or I wouldn't get paid, you know, so. Understanding that, but let's let's go back, right? Like, not judging, right? Understanding the young lady that you were going into loving hip-hop, of course, you think it's an opportunity. You can make money, having fun, whatever the case may be, right? Mm. Fast forward now with everything you learned, right? To the young to the young lady who feel the same exact way. I literally just sat here and talked to somebody, um, and she literally said, I'm just going on it. Before she got on there, I'm going on there because they're going to show me, my family. I'm like, they tell that to everybody. Like, literally, they lie. They, lie. they tell that to everybody now, look at the storyline. But outside of that, mm-hmm. to the young lady who does believe in that, like, yo, I'm going to just go in there. They're going to show me my personality and I'm going to gain followers and, and gain an influence off of this. What do you tell that young lady? Outside of just forget love and hip hop. Let's not just because, again, like that wants to go on TV and stuff. Reality TV. Yeah. I just feel like everything, like I said, everything that's glitter isn't gold. Like, I feel like don't just jump the gun just because you want to be famous. Mm. It's a lot that comes with it, and you got to be prepared for what comes with it. Like, my whole life was exposed. You mm. know, things I didn't even want out got exposed, you know, because of that. And I But I signed up for that. Mm. So I can't blame... Actually, I can't blame Love and Hip Hop because I entered that world, and that's they're doing their job, and I have to do mine. Mm. But it's unfortunate that they put you through certain things because, you know... You see people that go to jail. It's a lot of stuff that, it's a lot of BS, you know? Mm. It's a lot of politics. It's a lot of favoritism. And it's just reality. And it's just TV. So you just got to, like, know what you're getting yourself into. And just, like, fame isn't everything. Mm. So I know I'd rather be rich than famous. <laughs> you know mm. what I'm saying? Some people think that's the house that's going to get rich. How they going to get rich? No. Fame, let me tell you something. I don't got $5.6 million. So <laughs> straight up. I got 5.6 million followers. I don't got 5.6 million dollars. So followers and fame doesn't mean anything. Mm. Mm. That's crazy because like it's absolutely right. And it's just like it's I don't want to be that old talking, but it's like you see so many women fall under this trap. They do. They they clout. Clout is a drug and it's sickening. Like I and I'm going to lie like I'm not going to say I ever wanted clout because I've always been like popular my whole life. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Even in school. I was always that girl, you know what I mean? But it's like, so I don't, I've never experienced the whole clout thing, you know what I mean? But I think I did do things for attention Mm. at some point in life, like, you know, attention seeking. But the whole, like, wanting to be around and get, get, no. Mm. No. Yo, it's crazy. Um, We had, uh, I've been more into the serious conversations, right? But we, I seen this, uh, the, the clip of Brittany Renner, that's her name. Saying like thirty five bodies. She want to take a drink? Can I pour up, man? Fuck. Let me pour up, man. Huh? Hey, I I work hard at this. Man. I be studying this shit, man. What? What huh? you about to say? Speak up, man. Speak up. What you said? We want to know what you said. I told you she got. You, when you play spades, that partner on the other man team, you be mad as hell. Like, bro, what the hell? But uh, what you about to say? Go ahead. Speak up, man. <laughs> We 
please, because, bro, this is, I told you this ain't Oprah, bro. You can say it. You can be having fun in it. Oh, oh, well, she, he, that ain't your, yeah, that ain't your voice. But anyway, I seen um this clip, Brittany Renner, right? And she was talking mm-hmm. about 35 bodies. And like, me personally, outside of the 35 bodies, I don't really care. Like, you're a grown woman. Like, me personally, you can call me whatever you Ugh, want. I don't care. What, that's a lot? Too much? No, no. Oh, okay. I was no, wondering. I was nothing. Oh, oh, the look, the. Uh... No, no. <laughs> I was laughing at what you said, like my head, like. What was funny? Share. Nothing. Just continue. Thirty-five bodies a lot. Yeah. Is is it too much? That's listen. That's her. Listen, that's her. Is thirty-five bodies too much? Absolutely. I mean, but I feel like okay. Go ahead. I just feel like even if it wasn't too much, why are you telling? Like, it's not no like you know what I'm saying. Nobody I'm sure people it. got past thirty-five. That's what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just be real. I, like, but that's not nobody's business. But she might be empowered. This, but that's disgusting, and that's like un- very just dis- very. Thirty five nat- bodies is disgusting, or expensive? no? I didn't say the thirty five bodies. Saying it because half of the world probably has more than thirty five bodies. Let's be real. That's what I'm saying. I mean, let's, I'm we ain't gonna saying. sit here and act like you know what I'm saying. We're not gonna knock her for like like she's just a whore like. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know. But she might be a whore too, but who cares? Yeah, I mean, I'm she, just could be, she can be a whore, but I'm I saying. I was a whore too. I'm just, hey, I just Listen, I don't fair. judge nobody. Hey, I'm not judging saying. her. I'm just saying that she can be a, like, just be a quiet whore. Just be quiet. Mm. There's no need to, like. Or undercover freak. Just, but why are you telling the world, like, you know what I'm saying? That's nasty to me. It was acts. It's fun. Even, even if you had a hundred, like, even if you had a hundred bodies, that's not nobody's business. And I don't think that's even cute or tasteful for a man to even hear. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you do is what you do. Right. No, I get it. Because, like I said, there's people that probably have more bodies than her. So we can't... Who are we to judge Britney? Hey. I might not... Just because I, I don't care for her. Like, you know, I don't just... Dis- I don't know her. I just don't care for the things that come out her mouth as a woman. Okay. You know? I don't say... I can't say I don't like her. I don't care for the things that come out her mouth. 